In this video, we will cover the safety and setup aspects before you fly your kite. Before you start snow kiting, you need to understand the basics. If you already know how to fly a small power kite and ski or snowboard, you're practically already there. Let's take a look at some of the essential things necessary to get you on your way to becoming a snow kiter. Read the product manual thoroughly and ensure you fully understand everything. Most importantly, the release system and how it works. Learn to understand the different wind strengths, the wind window theory, and identify the power zones. Check the wind and weather forecast and ensure that the weather is safe to fly the kite in, always avoiding gusty winds as they make learning more difficult and increase the chance of accidents. Learn the equipment that comes with your snow kite and identify what else you'll need for a safe and comfortable snow kite session. Before you go, it's a good idea to alert someone on your location. When you plan to return from your trip, we recommend having a friend or someone assist you with launching and landing when first learning to fly your kite. Before you set up your equipment or launch your kite, it's important to find a good location. Any place with wind and snow can be a potential snow kite spot. Look for areas that are open and flat with no obstacles like high buildings or large trees as these can create gusty winds. Stay well away from fences and power lines and don't choose a spot that's crowded with other people. Once you're sure your chosen location is safe for kiting, identify any potential dangers such as large rocks or other objects that could be hazardous and stay well away from them. Assess the snow surface conditions and wind direction and quality. You will want your kite size to be appropriate for the wind speed and the wind direction to be relatively consistent, which will make learning easier. Always keep in mind how much space you need and stay aware of any other activities that are happening around you. Before you set up your kite and fly for the first time, you need to be confident using the control system and all of the release system functions. Before flying your kite, practice loading, hooking in, and then releasing the chicken loop to ensure you fully understand how the release system works. Roll out your kite with the trailing edge facing downwind. Make sure you fully weigh down the trailing edge with snow so that it does not blow away. Detach the bridle lines from the center of the kite and spread them out to check for any tangles. Then lay the lines on the ground so that they are clearly separated. Walk the lines back from your kite towards the wind. Place the bar on the ground with the red color on the left side. Separate your lines with your fingers and walk back towards the kite making sure there are no tangles. Lay the lines out separately on the ground and attach each line to the kite using the corresponding line and bridle numbers. Do a controlled check to make sure both the bar, lines, and bridle lines are clear and not tangled. You are now ready to fly your kite. Check out the next video in this series where we explain how to launch and land the kite.